Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Breakfast time. comments thank you 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 for your comments good morning I'm tired again I feel so like I need to just go lie on the beach for a few weeks you've heard me talking about possibilities of going away to Grand Cayman and my allergies and all of that and I just don't know what's happening we were planning to be away in Grand Cayman right now and yet my allergies haven't have been okay thus far but you just never know they could like suddenly pop any moment. And Eric gets back on the 24th, which is a week from Monday. And I so just wanna see him. Yeah. We haven't actually booked our flights for Grand Cayman. And every time I tuned in, it was like, just wait, just wait. And now there's also Playlist Live happening. Next weekend in Orlando, Playlist Live is a YouTube conference. And I just want to be there. But then it's like, how does this all work out? I have no idea. And then William is also presenting at a conference, The Science of Consciousness, also at the end of April. I also want to go to that. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. Am I gonna be here? Am I gonna leave tomorrow? Am I not gonna leave tomorrow? I just don't know. So I'm having one of those kind of mornings. And even though I went to bed at 9.30, which was really good, and I slept through till seven, I still feel really tired. Amidst all of that, I'm also, am feeling inspired and seeing these visions and creations and UHP is happening and that feels so amazing. And I just feel like this is a little bit of the kind of death to allow it to come through. You know, Yoda Day, and I said, you just gotta get out of the way and let it come through. Often in the times where I'm tired and I feel like I can't do it, are the times where there's something else comes through so boldly that I'm, can't, isn't me, can't be me because I'm like, uh, I can't do anything. And it's like something else comes through and it's such a, I didn't do it experience over and over and over and over. <laughs> I'm just gonna reply to some of your comments. This is what I would like to do. I would like the vlog to be up at 8 a.m. every morning and I would love to then do tea and comments on the vlog from yesterday, that morning. So, Melinda says, oh Mark, we'll miss you in New York, can't wait till June. Yes, the action ship drone, whoa. Right? She says, your necklace looks like a galaxy or even a spaceship, love it. Today I have this necklace on, which is the Sri Aurobindo and the mother symbols. Oh, Kylie, it was so cool yesterday. Literally, I just read your comment that said, I love the Somewhere of the Rainbow music. And that was the exact moment I heard that Tom was playing Somewhere of the Rainbow on the violin. And wasn't that beautiful? Like, Tom, I don't know if you're watching this, but it's so gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Kylie says, I've been watching old action ship videos in the last few days. Action ship is definitely the drone. Yes, okay, the action ship is coming back. I have so many ideas for action ship videos. Okay, they will happen. Also, Kylie says, I need to go to sleep now thinking positive thoughts for the world. You are my favorite ballerina too, Laura. Oh, thank you, Kylie, appreciate that. And it says, sacrum feathers go very well together. It feels so good. Well, somewhere over the rainbow, two days in a row. What is up with my voice? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, and she says, I love Abdul's message to the world. Really enjoyed the talk about the balance between tension and elasticity. Is that it? Almost. The tension is the elastic part. It's the elastic component. It's like when you have elastic, you have that. That's the tensile aspect. And then the integrity is how the system comes together. Let me get the toy, hang on. Here's our tensegrity toy. These hard bits, the struts, they are like your bones. They don't move, they are rigid, and yet they are connected through 
the elastic parts. That's like the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments. And so, for example, here's the sacrum and here is a pelvic half. There we go. There's your pelvis. And rather than these bones being stuck together rigidly, which is often what we think, there's actually movement and elasticity between the bones. So that means when a pressure or a stress comes into the system, rather than it just going bam through, ow, it actually has this elastic give. And so the whole system absorbs the force. And so wherever I push on this tensegrity structure, it's affecting the whole. And that is what your body is designed to be. And that is what we need to re-remember and train our bodies to experience again. Because often these parts that should be elastic, for example, our muscles, have become so tight and rigid that they no longer have that elastic rebound. And instead, when that stress comes in, it is a, coming into a rigid system that just creates wear and tear. It's like if a car has wooden wheels and no suspension, that car is going to rattle apart a lot faster than a car that has very bouncy wheels and really good suspension. And if you saw on Twitter yesterday, I tweeted that tension in your body creates tension in your mind. Tension in your mind creates tension in your body. And tension in your body mind creates tension in your life. So it's not just your physical body that can have tension, but all the aspects of you, like what is going on in my life, my finances and my home and my relationship and my school and all of those aspects, if they are tense in your kind of perspective in the who you are that's going to create rigidity in this system which means you feel rattled around by life rather than able to flow and bounce and just roll with the punches and eric's book dynamic alignment through imagery if you don't have this book go order it now i mean look at this look how beautiful that is and here we go, see, tensile compression. He's talking about it here. Dynamic alignment through imagery by Eric Franklin. This book, plus, plus experiencing it, will change your life. This book is like nourishment. I should sleep with it. Oh, it's got so much love in it. This wasn't meant to be a little, I, was, I really need to go. <laughs> Do you guys know that I found Eric's book in my dance college library when I was like 19 or something and like that was my first interaction with him and now I'm like in his books how crazy is that that's me <laughs> Mark is back in Luxembourg got back safe and sound oh Mark he says the clip of me walking in with my suitcase I remember it as if it was yesterday <laughs> Oh wait, it was! Super trippy to watch this from a different continent now, but feels good knowing that I'll be back in seven or eight weeks. Oh, and Jolene. So, I'm gonna go to ballet and probably stay for Cunningham and then don't know beyond that. Cue traveling to ballet class montage. I think those movers I'm moving the stuff up. Caitlin's apartment. Are you moving the stuff out of the third floor? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what is she doing with that big camera? Look how gorgeous these trees look. Love your neighbor as yourself.
there's a room there. Was it good? <laughs> did you enjoy it? You did so good. It's her eight week birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Happy And so I got home from ballet, I ate lunch. I don't know why we've chosen to hang out here on the floor. It's because of your computer. It's kind of... It's <laughs> more I've decided to have her office in the hall. Yeah, look. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know why. Sending the footage to Mark today. Yay! Thanks, Mark. Hi guys, okay, you're going to the movies and I might come and I can't decide. I don't know, I wonder if Emily said, I said get two tickets to start. Yeah. Cheers. Be awesome. I did get up off the floor and hung out a bit and now I'm going to bed and it's 10 to 8 and I'm really happy about that. So cheers. I hope you have a lovely day or have had a lovely day and I'll see you guys in the comments tomorrow morning. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Night night. Love ya. Bye.